This is, again, the biggest tax cut, biggest reform of all time. So it's an honor to have you with us, and we will sign this right now. This is something I'm very proud of, great for our country, great for the American people. Thank you all. We're grateful to be joined by Vice President Mike Pence, and also with us are Secretary Steve Mnuchin, Administrator Jovita Carranza, Senators Roy Blunt, John Cornyn, Dan Sullivan, as well as Leader Kevin McCarthy, and Representative Steve Scalise and Liz Cheney. We appreciate you all coming. Very big moment. I want to thank Congress for answering my call to pass this critical funding. And the bill includes, as you probably know, you've been watching it over the last week as it matured until this point, $320 billion to keep millions and millions of American workers on the payroll. Great for small businesses, great for the workers. $30 billion to, so that's $30 billion to thousands of $10 billion for $50 billion to important farms. $75 billion, $825 million. That's a small one, million. That's the first time I've seen the word million instead of billion. $25 million for community. $825 million for community. And $25 billion for including an incredible job, I must say, where Vice President Pence and with the task force, uh, the coronavirus, uh, uh, that we are really hitting hard that uh, the ideas and the implementation is to get the credit that we should, and I don't want it for myself. So it's been an, an amazing story that hasn't been written about. Actually, there have been stories about why haven't they written about it. Those are the stories, because it's really amazing, hasn't it? It is. So what was the vote uh, in five, the Senate? Five. <laughs> what was it? Three eighty-five to five. There, there was a. What about the Senate? What was Unanimous. Unanimous. Um, it's like an ATM machine with over four hundred billion dollars. See, thank you, Mr. President. This is the fourth bill you've now signed. So uh, I just spoke with Tim Cook of Apple, and uh, he would like us to do things. He's going to be spending tremendous amounts of money in our country. He's going to be bringing back tens of billions of dollars into our country. He's going to build, and he feels that we're going to have a V. You know what the V is. We're talking about the U or the V, or, or maybe a flat line. But, so with that, I'll sign the bill. So we're signing the 8.3 billion. I asked for two and a half, and I got 8.3, and I'll take it. The law I'm signing today provides 738 billion. That's with a B. 738 billion dollars in defense funding for the 2020. That's an all-time record in the history of our country. That's the highest amount we've ever spent on our military. And that's after $700 billion in my first year and $716 billion last year. Therefore, as a security, I've signed this omnibus budget bill. There are a lot I say to 1.3 trillion. House and Senate voted unanimously to reopen the government. Allow due process so that no one's rights are trampled, but, but the ability to go to court, obtain an order, and then collect not only the firearms, but all, any, any weapons in the possession or of that individual. Or might take the firearms first and then go to court, because that's another system. Because a lot of times, by the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures uh, I like taking the guns early, like in this crazy man's case that just took place in Florida. He had a lot of firearms. They saw everything. To go to court would have taken a long time. So you could do exactly what you're saying, but take the guns first, go through due process second. 1992, found in the NBC archives, shows the future president welcoming Jeffrey Epstein to his Mar-a-Lago estate. Both men are seen enjoying themselves. Trump pointing out women dancing in front of them. He often did this by picking fights. He said, I think Donald Trump is an artful liar. I think he is a greedy, vicious, and arrogant man. 
Well, I don't know. Is that supposed to be a compliment or not? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. But things have already started, and for him to announce that he's switching parties, I mean, who's going to accept that? And well, Reagan did. 